So much for his boxing career. When he got in with a decent boxer, he fought for the, the British heavyweight title. I think it was the Commonwealth title. I'm not sure which one it was. He fought, fought for the title in the British heavyweight title, I think it was. And, but he was good, John Elgar, and he was exceptional. So he got in the ring when he started the box. And he just looked out of sorts straight away. You could see there was like a man against the kid. And you could see the fear in his face. People I know over there, Chino's Chan, passed away. He put 10 grand on him that night. And the three or four of the lads were telling me from Red Cow went over like businessmen. They said, what a fucking shit house, big fella. He said, he just, he just gave up. He said he was fighting and he was getting, he wasn't even getting hurt or nothing. There was no marks on him. And out was, he was, he just, he just went like that, like, like cowards do when they're getting beat. He, went, he turned his back like that and the referee had to stop the fight in the sixth round. What an embarrassment. So he never lived that down. And after that, he had one more fight. Um, and he got beat in the very first round and he got knocked out and conscious, sparked and conscious. Never boxed after that. So that he had 10 fights. And that was his record, you know, so he never he never was uh, this great man. Not could have beat Mike Tyson, not could have beat um uh, what was he called? Um one of the Mum Dali. Oh, hold on. Can't his name now. <laughs> Maybe it'll come back to me so yeah, he said he beat him as well and uh you know, one of the greatest boxers of all time. Larry Holmes, that was it. Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes, he could have beat Larry Holmes. I went, Larry Holmes, so nine years or something you uh, held the belt belt. He never gave up, I bottled it. We'll get back to being the bully, he um he also went to a pub in um, I think it was Wigan, went in there and it was owned by a rugby player, ex rugby player. He tried it on with him, the lad fucking smashed him all over the pub, threw him out the club and come on he shouted at him, he just he couldn't walk off shit himself. Then he had a fight with another kid, the lad contacted me, he said he had a fight with my dad, Brian. He said he threw a three punch combination at my dad and my dad fucking hit him with the left hook, knocked him clean out in the doorway of the pub in uh, Wakefield. And another lad filled him in who was a farmer. He, he smashed him all over as well. So there was, was half a dozen people filled him in. But when he was in them parks and said, come and suck this and let me sit, come and sit on this and all that to people, he, he went worse than that. He, he started living under a library. I think it was in Wakefield. He lived under a library and he was in there. And when he was in there, he was coming out in the street. And he was just, he was completely off his head. Then he was just, he was drinking anything, bloody terps or anything. So he was coming out and he was peeing in the bus stop one day. The little girl started crying when she seen him and he went, Fucking shut up and I'll fucking kill you. I'll fucking kill you, little bastard. Shut her up, he was shouting this little kid. It was only a little kid, a little, little girl like this. And I can prove this one because it's all in the papers. When you put it in, you can see it. He was convicted of 25 different, 25 different offences over a period of three months where he had to plead guilty to every one because he was on camera and he was on there screaming at the little kid. A woman was in the bus stop with her daughter. He was doing it again. He said, what, what are you doing? She said, go around the back or something. He just stood there going, ah, 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 and pissing all over the floor. And she was with the daughter, and the daughter there was distraught. It's in the paper, you can read it. I'm not making it up. It's in the papers, Wakefield. You can just put his name in Paul Sykes, and you'll see what he's convicted of. So if that's not a sexual offence, what isn't flashing yourself to young kids in the playground, uh, asking young lads for sex in the park, beating young kids up in the park. But them young kids will be, he beat up, come back on him. Because what goes around comes around. So he was in this skip one day. Yes, a skip. He did a skip. And they'll come to these kids and they set the skip alight and he from burnt him alive, roasted him alive. He was on fire in the skip, they had to put him out. So he was like, like nearly, nearly killed him. So his days were numbered then because everyone was turned against him. But when he was threatening like a little girl to kill a little girl and that people were sick of him then. So they all put they all put letters into the court and everything. So when he went up to court, the court said, Right, they give him a uh, he said, you're bad out of Wakefield to move for Levy and now. So he got an ASBO order to keep him away from the people of Wakefield. And everyone signed a petition to get, get him out of the area because he was an absolute nuisance, pissing in shops and things like that and just being disgusting. But um, as, as being the top boxer, he could have a fight. But he used that to bully people. And not all boxers who can fight, any top boxer will tell you. You use your hands in the ring with people. You don't fight in Joe public because you're under lethal weapons. You know how to fight. But he used that to his advantage to gain um, to rape kids in jail. Um, and to, and this is this is the kicker where I'm going to you're going to be dumbfounded. Um, the next one I tell you on. So yeah, he was doing these things, and it's all in the papers. You can read it. Uh, he's trying to paper over the cracks, skate around the house as he calls it, trying to get out of it. But they're in the papers that he was he was convicted of 25 offences um, and he was bad out of the whole city for doing what he did so another one to come